All right, guys, you asked for it and I am delivering. We are gonna be going over the top 10 IT related certifications. So keep in mind, there's a ton of IT certifications and certificates out there. So just because one of them comes in at number 10 doesn't mean it's not good. It's just not as good as some of the other ones because there's so many. And also keep in mind, this is just my opinion. Now it is based off of me helping a bunch of people get jobs, my students. And it's also based off of the opinion of other experts. And it's based off of my own experience as well. But with that in mind, it is still my opinion. So if you agree with me on some things, or you think there's some other ones that are better, or if you disagree with me on some things, go ahead, comment down below. Because the truth is there's a lot of subtlety and nuance to this. There's certain certs that are going to be better in certain industries, certain countries, etc. So comment down below your opinion, and we can all learn something from this. All right, so number 10 on the list is going to be the CCNP or the Cisco Certified Network Professional. Now this one is an advanced networking certification, and it's highly valued in the industry. Now some key points here is it demonstrates proficiency efficiency in implementing, maintaining, and troubleshooting enterprise networks. And it's a stepping stone to the CCIE multiple specialization track. And it also requires hands-on experience and in-depth knowledge. So overall, this one is really solid. It definitely requires some experience. So it's not gonna be the best for a beginner, of course. And of course, this is gonna be better for certain types of careers. But overall, this one is incredibly well-respected and that's why it comes in at number 10. Next is going to be the CCNA, another one by Cisco. So this is the Cisco Certified Network Associate. And this one is a foundational networking certification which is widely recognized and respected by hiring managers, business owners, et cetera. Now, the two things that you wanna look for with all of these certifications is one, are they recognized and respected by hiring managers and decision makers? And honestly, that's the most important thing by far. And then two, how good is the actual information that they teach you and how is it going to help you to land a job? And this one is both good looking for HR and it also teaches functional skills. And it's often actually required for entry level networking positions. So it's a really good starting point for networking careers, and it also includes hands-on simulator exercises. So yeah, this one is very solid. Next is going to be the CompTIA A+. Now, this one looks amazing on a resume. CompTIA is basically the gold standard in IT and cybersecurity. And to be completely honest with you, so the cert itself doesn't necessarily teach the most valuable skills, but it is recognized and respected by the decision makers. Now, is this stupid? Yes, this is very stupid. But I am not going to tell you that other certifications are better than this one, just because they teach better skills, when in reality, this is the one that's probably gonna help you get a job. Now, this one covers basic hardware and software knowledge, and this is often one of the first certifications that people get when they're entering IT. So this one is really good for beginners. So it covers PC hardware, software, mobile devices, and basic networking. And it's really good for help desk and technical support roles. Now, this one may be too basic for those with experience or aiming for specialized roles. So make sure you understand where you're coming from and what your goal is when you're thinking about getting these Certs. All right, so next is going to be the AWS Certified Solutions Architect certification. Now this one is a great entry point for AWS certifications. That's really widely recognized and it teaches really good stuff too. So this is going to validate your understanding of core AWS services and the best practices. And it's often required for cloud related positions. Now this one is a stepping stone for professional level certifications and it does cover designing and deploying scalable systems on AWS. So yeah, especially if you're going for a cloud related IT role, this one is going to be very, very good. And the next one is also AWS and that's an AWS US Certified Cloud Practitioner Certification. So this one is really good for technical skills and it's also recognized. And this one is a really good entry-level AWS certification. So it does provide a basic understanding of AWS cloud concepts. So it's great for beginners. And honestly, anything cloud-related is super valuable. So this one's a good starting point for non-technical roles needing AWS knowledge. And it's also relatively easy compared to the other AWS certifications. So this one can also be a good stepping stone to associate level AWS certifications. So yeah, this one's very solid. Next is the CCIE or the Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert Certification. Now this one is at the highest level of Cisco certifications and it demonstrates expert level networking skills. Okay, so this one is a bit of a flex, right? If you have this one and people know what they're looking at, they know that you really know what you're doing. And it also has an extremely challenging practical exam and it's highly respected in the networking industry. And it can really significantly boost your career prospects and your salary. And honestly, this one requires a 
extensive preparation and hands-on experience. So this one is definitely not beginner friendly. Don't even try this one if you're a beginner or even close to being a beginner, but it is a phenomenal cert and it is highly respected and it teaches you really good technical skills. Next is the CISSP or the Certified Information System Security Professional Certification. Now this one is widely recognized. It covers broad security knowledge and it's highly valued by employers. It also requires five years of experience in two or more security domains. It covers eight domains of information security and it's often required for senior security positions. And it requires continuous professional education to maintain certification. So yeah, this one is also very, very impressive. Next is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect professional certification. So the one we talked about before was the associate certification. This one is for pros. So this one is literally the top tier cloud certification that you can get. And it demonstrates advanced AWS expertise. Now, anything cloud related, whether it is data analytics, whether it's coding, whether it's IT, basically it's like a money printer, okay? <laughs> like if you get into cloud related stuff, you can just make a ton of money. And this one validates your ability to design and deploy dynamically scalable fault tolerant systems systems on AWS, and it's highly valued in cloud-focused roles. So it requires significant hands-on experience with AWS, and it covers a wide range of AWS services and best practices. So yeah, this one is super impressive to get as well. It's also basically a money printer. You can make a ton of money if you get into this. So I had to rate it very, very highly. Now, the truth is most people watching this video are going to be beginners. So the top two are going to be tailored for beginners. And number two is going to be the course careers IT certificate. Now the truth is this one isn't as widely recognized as many of the other ones on the list, but course careers is disrupting the industry. And what this one focuses and specializes on is actually getting you a job. And when the certificate first launched, they literally were getting people jobs in seven days, 10 days and 12 days. So basically this one just cuts out all the fat. It teaches you exactly what you need to know. And it teaches you how to build your resume and portfolio in such a way where companies are actually going to hire you. So absolutely love this one. It is phenomenal. But with that being said, it isn't as widely respected as many of the other ones on the list by hiring managers and business owners. In fact, they might even hate many of the things that are taught in the program because they basically teach you how to hack the system and get a job as fast as possible. And by the way, they do have a free training, which I'll put a link to down in the description in the pinned comment below. Now, if you combine this one with the next one on the list, it's going to be a deadly combo. And that's the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. And this one is for entry level. And this one just covers the basics of IT support. Now it's offered through Coursera and it's less recognized than traditional certifications, but that is rapidly changing. And it's good for those looking to start in IT support roles. However, it is less comprehensive than the CompTIA A+. But with that being said, Google literally designed these certificates and partnered with Coursera because there wasn't enough people in the marketplace that had the skills that they wanted. So they literally made these certs to tell people what they wanted. And a bunch of other companies agree. And that's why 150 companies partnered up with Google and they hire people that get these certs. So this is one where it's basically been like a cheat code for the last few years, literally hundreds of comments in my comment section saying that, you know, these Google certs were incredible for them and they got them jobs. And there's also lots of people on Reddit, Coursera and other review websites that just say nothing but good things about these certs. So yeah, these things are amazing. Definitely highly recommend getting it if you are a beginner. And I'll link that down in the description and the pinned comment below. Now, by the way, if you're interested in other Google certs, I did make a Google certificate tier list, which you can check out right here.